The Mach-E M39 represented a pivotal moment in aviation history when speed records fell almost monthly and national pride hung on razor-thin margins measured in kilometers per hour. Designed by Mario Castoldi in 1926, this racing seaplane was built with one singular purpose, winning the Schneider Trophy for Italy. Castoldi's design marked a radical departure from previous Mach-E racing seaplanes. The M39 featured a low-wing monoplane configuration with twin floats instead of the traditional central hull, dramatically reducing drag. The streamlined fuselage avoided all all-angularity, with the pilot positioned in an open cockpit above the wing's trailing edge. The windscreen was carefully profiled into the fuselage decking to minimize air resistance. The wing design incorporated an ingenious innovation. Two-thirds of the upper wing surfaces functioned as low-drag surface radiators, eliminating the need for traditional honeycomb or fin-type radiators that created substantial drag. The Fiat AS.2 V12 engine, producing 800 horsepower in racing configuration, achieved an exceptional power-to-weight ratio of 467 grams per horsepower, lighter than any comparable engine worldwide at that time. Castoldi incorporated specialized features tailored specifically for the Schneider Trophy course. Since the circuit required left turns, the left wing possessed slightly greater span than the right, enabling tighter turns. The floats had unequal buoyancy to counteract propeller torque, and they doubled as fuel tanks. Development proceeded at breakneck speed. The first M39 flew on July 6, 1926, mere months after construction began at Maki's Varese factory. Tragedy struck on September 16th when team captain Vittorio Centurione died after stalling a trainer over Lake Varese, but the program continued undeterred. On November 13, 1926, three M39 racers competed at Hampton Roads, Virginia. Captain Arturo Ferrarin retired early with a burst pipe. Lieutenant Adriano Bacula finished third at 351 kilometers per hour, about 218 miles per hour. But Major Mario De Bernardi, flying MM76, completed all seven laps at an average speed of 396.698 kilometers per hour, around 247 miles per hour, claiming victory and establishing a new world seaplane speed record. De Bernardi wasn't satisfied. Four days later, on November 17th, he pushed MM76 to 416.618 kilometers per hour, about 259 miles per hour over a three-kilometer course, securing Italy's dominance. The Schneider Trophy returned to Rome, and De Bernardi became a national hero. Today, MM76 resides in the Museo Storico Aeronautica Militare in Bracciano, Italy, a testament to an era when aviation pushed boundaries with courage, innovation, and calculated risk. The M39's legacy influenced Castoldi's subsequent designs, including the Mach-E M52, continuing Italy's racing seaplane tradition into the late 1920s.